Hello, good morning and uh, welcome to once again the amazing and spoken realities and today we are doing uh, still completing our hashtag real up episode 3 of the movie Ustufi and we had your call today we have expanded it's not only boys eh? as you can see today we have also three very strong ladies uh, led by our co-host Estelia Mumu and uh, we are going to be discussing uh, episode 3 of Usufi. We did episode 1. We did episode 2. Now today we're in the final episode. Learn now you have a story, Aisha. Thank you. So I'll just let uh, our panel members introduce themselves. These are very strong panel. I'll begin on my immediate right. Hi everyone. My name is Celia Karioki. Um, I am a co-founder of a CBO in Kilifi called Keeping Communities Hope Alive. And I hope you're going to enjoy the show. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Manzia Dennis, uh, Gender Associate of GVRC. Uh, I want to welcome you to yet another episode. I've been with you in the first two one, and I hope you're learning a lot. Thank you for your feedback. Welcome and let's go and do this together. Hello and welcome. My name no. is Estiel Yamumo, the co-host uh, no. for today's edition. I am a TV and radio media personality. Uh, hi everyone, and I'm Trisa Wangeshi, uh, Program Officer at the Gender Violence Recovery Center. Let's keep talking. Masalam, naitwa Wakili Mwatondo, kutoka kwale at CBO, ambotu mwusika kukuruduza filamu ambotu haenda kuyangalia sayo. Arigu. Asante, asante, masalam. Masalam mtu na jibu vipi? Masalam, mwe? Ayo ni salam mtu ya ni. Kusema masalam? Kusema masalam. Thank you very much, <laughs> our viewers and everybody. So uh, uh, before we go into watching the movie, I'll let STL take us there. Um, uh, she'll take us to how we're going to watch the movie. And then, uh, but of course, if you didn't catch up with episode one and episode two, they are still on the GVRC Facebook page. Tafadali, ingia pale na uzitezani. STL, so to break away movie directly, what are you Manze, uh, mengoja sana na kwa sababu tuko katika kitengo cha Kiswahili. The Kiswahili is flowing from wakili in a flow to evil through osmosis. So karibu tupate kutazama this particular episode. Tupate kujua hali mekua vipi kutoka kwa episode 1 hadi ya pili. Na sasa tuko in the third and final episode. Hali iko vipi? Wacha tutazame enda. Tutaka kukue part of this conversation kupitia Facebook fanpage yetu ambayo ni Gender Violence Recovery Center na pia kwenye Instagram GVRC Kenya and you can share with friends and family and let them join in this particular conversation. So let's get to it. Thank you. Where we know. 
Sante mimi uh, wakili. Hiyo ndio episode ya tatu eh. Naam ndio. Labda kwa kwa haraka tu tunaweza uh, maybe there are those who didn't watch. They uh-huh. would like to know uh, what happened in episode 1, episode 2. Maybe kwa kifupi tu. Alafu tuelezee wewe sasa kama mwandishi na na mwe, mwelekezaji wa episode 3. Uh, Ulikuwa unafikiria nini? Kama uh-huh. tunafanya episode 3. So naanza ya 1 ilikuwa nini tu ilikuwa nini alafu tuelezee 3 3 hali ya hali ya maisha uh, inaukumbwa na misukosuko ya covid 19 mm-hmm. uh, katika familia ambayo ilikuwa imezoea kuishi maisha ya kawaida na hii tunaiona kupitia mzee Yusufu ambaye mm-hmm. uh, ni mvuvi lakini kwa sababu ya janga hili la covid um, anapoteza biashara na kazi. Okay. Uh, na yeye la kuwajibika mm. anajiingiza katika ulevi. Mm. Uh, katika episode 2 tunaona wajibikaji wa mwanamke katika boma. Okay. Ambapo kinyume na mzee Yusufu mkewe mm. ana, anachukua jukumu la kutafuta kila mbinu kujikimu kimaisha pale nyumbani. Mm. Uh, tunamwona anaingia katika biashara ya kutanga viazi, karai alafu kisha tunamwona ame, amechukua mkopo mm-hmm. ama loan ya kupata viti vya kukodisha katika events uh, lakini pale pale kwa sababu ya kuzembea kwa, kwa kiume kupitia kwa mzee Yusufu tunaona masaibu yanaompata tena mkewe ambapo viti vinachukuliwa na wanarudi katika lile ile lilikuwa awali hapo uh, katika episode ya tatu tunaona ile hali imezidi imekithiri na inafikia uh, hatua ya kwamba mzee Yusufu sasa anataka kuchoma mwanawe uh, na anamfukuza pia mkewe yeah. kwa sababu ya fikra ya kwamba wameuza vile viti okay. hey, uh, lakini kisha tunaona pia jukumu la jamii mm-hmm. iwapo masuala kama yanatokea katika jamii yako wewe una, unawajibikia vipi unajihusisha vipi kwa hivyo hapa tunaona wasamaria wema ambao wanataka kujua mm. wanaingilia kati na swala hili linatatuliwa inakuwa ni sahali pia uh, pale viti vinaporegeshwa mm. maana ke mwanamke siku zote wanasema kwa sababu hata kuambia iwapo na shilingi 100 atakwambia na 100 atakwambia na 50 ile 50 wa ni akiba Okay. Sasa akiba hiyo ndio inamwezesha ule uh, mke wake Yusufu kwenda kuvikomboa vile viti na kuviregesha na hali inakuwa inakuwa shwari. Uh, hatimaye pia kupitia na sana na ushauri wa wale majirani uh-huh. uh, familia hiyo wanaenda kwa counseling. Yeah. Uh, na hiyo ndio inaregesha hali yao katika uh, 
maisha ya kawaida na ndonoma kilele cha filamu hii kwamba uh, familia ile imerudi pamoja na wanaishi katika hali ya furaha well uh, asante eh kweli eh umekuwa very good story ambayo imekuwa na resolution probably on my part uh, before i let uh, our hosts still do the other part probably they get to kuangalia from episode 3 tumeona there are things that were happening ambayo ilikuwa na lead kwa violence tumeona mzee akifungia akipiga mama si ndivyo mama pia ukiangalia kwa uso yake ako na alama ni kama ashapigwa tena na tena ana alama ambayo ina na healing at a different stage you know, kwamba there is evidence kwamba amekuwa akipitia maneno na kama umeona episode 1 na 2 that's obvious but probably in episode 3 is like the climax si ndivyo no. so probably i may just want to look at uh, Kuliza, labda nitaanza na Triza. Tueleze eh what do you think nini ni trigger huko mzee? Because there were some things ambazo zili trigger into being uh, in, into violence. Na if we relate that, what would be the triggers of uh, violence at home? Ni nini inaweza sababisha? Ni nini inaweza inaweza washa kibiriti? Alafu kuwa na violence maybe at home or in a relationship. Uh so labda naweza sema mara nyingi unapata watu wakiishi kwa uh, nyumba moja e, lazima watu watakosana so the moment watu hawataweza kuongelea ambao amba, uh, about vitu ambazo wanapitia ama mm. shida ambazo wanakuwa nazo pale nyumbani zinaendelea tu kuja sababu hakuna outlet so they keep feeling and feeling and feeling so at the end of the day unapata it's already too much so for some people hawajui vile ambavyo wanaweza uh, kupata suluhu ya mambo ambayo yanafanyika so for most people they tend to uh, sort to violence of which is not the solution so kwake naona ni kwamba maybe amekuwa akipitia mambo magumu eh, inaweza kwa maybe ni mambo ya pesa mm-hmm. eh, kukosa maybe kusikizana na bibi yake ama na mtoto wake nyumbani mm-hmm. pia unapata wakati like jamii ama neighbors wanapata kujua ya kwamba unatesa familia yako pia wataki kujishughulisha na wewe so unasikia ni kama uko not part of the community so hiyo yote ikiweza kuja eh, unapata mtu anafanya mambo ambayo si mazuri na ndio maana kwa hiyo movie tunaona vile anaweza anachapa bibi yake tumeona pia kifungia mtoto wake kwa nyumba of which it's gender based violence because we all have freedom to be out there to live to express ourselves and all that Yeah. Ah, very very true. And uh, I don't know maybe Dennis mm-hmm. I have uh, maybe a question for you. Mm-hmm. Uh wewe kwa hiyo episode ni nini imejitokeza kwa kwa ambayo ungependa iangaziwe kwa zaidi? Ni nini imeangaziwa kwa episode 3 ambayo imekuguza na ungependa itiliwe mkaja? Ame kwa kwa resolve baby. Okay, uh in is I said uh, in the earlier episodes when we were discussing some few weeks ago mm. uh, in the most informal settlements yeah. such are the things which are happening and mm. men tend to try to justify maybe their actions ama um, uh, they they do that maybe by on avoid to kusikiliza maneno ya watu ile advice na pia on again to other acts of uh, like alcoholism unajua e alcoholism now in a trigger Yes sasa kuja ku, kuleta violence pale nyumbani. Uh, na unaanza vinya ana ana mishandle the mtoto wake. Of which tunajua uh, si vizuri baba kum, kumhandle mtoto vile. Kwa uh, hivyo uh, when uh, frustrations are high or when things are not going well, me I just advise that instead of going at the alcohol way ama another way ama pia unapotea you just become absent for the family mm. and just come together and find a I'm I'm more of trying to resolve your uh, issue or my conflict. Uh, thank you maybe to says then I can return it to STL and back to like is uh, for the other part. Maraera tuna mambo mengi sana ya kusema. Says what would you say about what you've seen in the movie? Is it a situation about that uh, you can relate with? And also how can this issue be resolved? Sub million is like e covid ili kuja ka change maneno badly expectations uh, people are suffering kuna a lot of mental issues how can families people in a relationship how can they resolve don't need to come only for that choma family unfortunately wengine wamruana wengine wamechomana how can we resolve na watu wanajuaje kwamba ni muhimu sana waangazie maneno ya mental uh, mental health how can such issues be resolved 
before they get to that particular uh, place. Uh, okay. Nafikiri, like in our communities, this is very evident, and especially uh, after the, at the onset of COVID, we like Akuja, and we, we've seen a lot of, like, I think we recorded the highest number of GBV cases. There was a, a big, uh, a very big upside of, of GBV cases. And, like, in the movie, it could be linked to Unona, that guy, all, uh, all those frustrations. And Unapata, like, you're getting frustrated, but you don't have an outlet. Your outlet, you're just going to drink alcohol, you're opting to numb the pain instead of dealing with the pain. And I, I think you've seen clearly that whenever you, uh, you, you bottle this pain up, in a, in a, it, it, it destroys your thought process and it affects your thought process. You start having mental issues. It just takes one trigger and you do things that you want to do. Like we saw Mzee Yusuf Hapo, he wanted to like light up the house with the kid inside. Unona. And, and and I think we, we, we need to appreciate the role of um, counseling and we, we, it's high time uh, that even in our communities we encourage people to like to to seek help. Unajua shida zitakuja kila wakati. Siati dunia, there is no point in life that kutakuwa hakuna shida. But the thing is, we need to be in the right mental state, uh, state to be able to handle these problems. And it, it's very good that we've seen that um, the Yusuf went for counseling, yeah. na but he recovered. So uh, I would love to encourage, especially our men, when you sometimes on a kwanga laid back, idogo, idogo, pogo, pa kwenda ku seek counseling, we, we would just, I would just want to encourage them that when you get help, una and there's no shame in that. And even if una feel like hautaki kujulikana, like we, we have very anonymous avenue. Nowadays you can even get online free counseling. You know, just make use of those nini, of those avenues and restore your mental state. Okay, um, I, I like the fact that Umeza could touch on you know that that point, but uh, it's true ya kwamba um simuhu wa COVID nineteen ni kama ime accelerate that may push people to the limit for them to to act out or just to explode but nilikuwa statistics when it comes to mental health yani kusumbua na mawazo inaashiria kwamba that uh, one in four people akona anasumbua na mawazo sasa hivi hapa tuko watu sita ina maana ya kwamba mmoja wetu tuseme at least or one and a half person <laughs> ana shida za kusomba na mawazo na i think covid imefanya people to speak out but a lot more people are going through uh, different types of issues labda you can talk to us about what are some of the practical things uh, mtu anaweza kufanya kwa sababu sometimes you meet someone alafu anakwambia i'm depressed or maybe it's because they are sad for that particular time they're not necessarily depressed or they're feeling some type of way uh, that particular time but you could feel depressed ama could feel ukiwa mwenye huzuni for that particular time siku nyingine ndio unapata mtu ina pile up alafu mtu anafanya kitu kikubwa labda what are, what are some of the practical things that people can do kuhakikisha kwamba it doesn't get to an extreme case I'm a strong believer of uh, self-care. It's really important to take care of yourself. Uh, because uh, as much as you know, you're a father somewhere, you're still an employee somewhere. So you have unashina mahali kazini kila siku, and all these spaces, we have different issues that we face on a daily basis. So there are different things that you can do. Uh, I think even for organizations that, those that do team building, uh, where, you know, you just sit, uh, you know, just have fun, scream, dance, play, you know, do all these fun things just to be able just to let your mind, you know, go over the issues that you're going through. I mean, uh, you can talk to somebody who you trust or who you feel comfortable that you can talk to. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a therapist, just can be a confidant, a friend, somebody you can just share over lunch, you know, over coffee, just a nice, you know, bubbly conversation. Um, you can listen to music. 
I mean, all these things, there are things that you find within yourself that make you happy, that make you feel relaxed. So it can be different things. You can watch a movie, you know, things that are within our reach. Si lazima ikuwe ni kitu ambayo atunatumia pesa nyingi, ndo weze kufila ti ume unajua. Like you feel lighter and all your issues, you know, you're able to deal with them. So it's just nice, nice things. You can cook a good meal, you know, play with your kids. Yeah, anything that just lets you know, lets you go of all the troubles that maybe you're going through. Yeah. Um, definitely. Thank you, Teresa, for that. Those are practical things that each one of us can be able to do. Like you know, for women, kwamba, especially kwa wa ume, ita tizo sana labda kuzungumza kupata, you know, kupata kuzungumza na kufunguka kusema kitu ambacho kina wasumbua. Na niko shua labda pale kule mjini labda kuna watu ambao labda wamepitia shida kama hizi labda wanasaidika kivipi au unaweza washauri kivipi especially when it comes to the men uh, asante kwanza swala la mwanaume kujieleza ni swala nyeti mwanake uh, kinachosumbua zaidi ni unyanyapa unyanyapa ule mtu mwenye any stigma stigma ya yeah. ule mtu mwenye ule musika alafu pia unyanyapa kutoka kwa jamii nitakupa mfano sasa hivi uh, labda sasa hivi kuna marekebisho kidogo lakini hapo nyuma ilikuwa mwanamume akiripoti kesi ya kwamba amepigwa na mkewe polisi cha kwanza atakejeliwa pale polisi sasa hiyo ilikuwa inazidi kujenga ule unyanyapaa kiasi cha kwamba mwanaume anaona haina haja tena kwenda kusema kwa mtu yote kwa hivyo wewe unaumia tu kiume si uh, so hilo limechangia hapa kubwa lakini kwa sababu ya mabadiliko ya mifumo ya uh, uh, utendaji kazi katika taasisi mbalimbali kama tunavyosema polisi uh, mashirika hospitali na kadhalika mimi ningependa kuwahimiza wanaume wenzangu yani kupigwa ni jambo la kawaida eh wewe bwana ukiona unataka pale kinyumbani yani eh yani unajua wakati mwingine unaweza jishaua mbele ya watu kama hivi eh maana yake mimi ukiangalia hali yangu ya afya alhamdulillah lakini naweza kukua kwamba ndani ya nyumba yangu nikifika kwa mke wangu yani mimi nafia tamkia ushaelewa ah kwa hivyo hiyo ni hali ya kawaida na iwapo ndakuwa na dhulumiwa namna ile nisiogope wala nisijifiche niende kwa taasisi usika na niweze kujieleza na msaada utapatikana naam asante kwa hilo maybe swali ah uh, swali ya swa labda tu uh, kuangazia zaidi wakati uh, tugeni wanasema kwa uh, wanaume sistoke uh, Pigo ni hali ya kawaida au ni kitu ambacho kinafanyika yani oh najua yeye labda pale ni kusema tu najua unamaanisha kwamba ikifanyikia pia mwanaume yeah. ni kwamba inaweza fanyikia pia mwanaume si ndivyo mm-hmm. kama inaweza fanyikia pia mwanadada inaweza fanyikia mwanaume si ndivyo kwa hivyo usisikie ni kama ni wewe peke yako dunia nzima inakutukia uwezi saidika tafadhali yeah. niweze kuzungumza tu na utasaidika si ndivyo yeah. okay na kando na waume pia tuangalie young people vijana kwa sababu unapata a lot of pressure inatokea kule kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kwa sababu labda uliona mtu anakuwa na kitu fulani pia unakitaka labda pressure pia kwa, kutoka kwa social media eh, inaweza kumpelekea mtu akawa violent labda uh, you know to to prevent yourself from being uh, overtaken or being pressured by what you see on social media labda ni vitu gani wewe kama kijana unapata kufanya uh, uh, mmekupata vizuri what i think i can uh, advise kuna jinsi ambavyo tunatafutilia maneno ya Kiswahili au akili jamani so uh, for young men uh-huh. one thing which i always tell uh, my friends is that we should set our priorities right make sure that you know what you want number two when it happens no there are so many reporting mechanisms whereby is uh, even trees are addressed and wakili amesema whereby we can also speak out no to see go peer we can also address that i know we have a uh, what to come uh, our seers now those people are in front of us our parents no people like wakili who are experienced we can also go and talk to them ex- uh, explain to them who uh, are the kind of things we are going through and uh sababu talk sema inafanyika na nick 
kawaida lakini ikifanyika tushapewa uh, jibu kisha tuweza ashasema kwamba uh, fanya yale mambo ambayo anafanya utulia uh, kama mimi naweza enda watch football hiyo ina relief sana na mafan so ikifanya vile nitakuwa relieved na, na pia is no, to school idol sana no most of us we are too idol napata kuna kisha maana anafanya so ni, ni simu tu simu tu so anaona eh fulani maybe ameenda na haya gari anapiga picha na tayari kufanya dile so inakuwa na kiwalet so tutafute shughuli ya kufanya tukihusisha na kitu cha kufanya alafu i believe tutaku tutavaka Asante sana. Kitu ambacho wamesahau kusema ni kwamba yeye ni fan wa Arsenal, sio? Ni mwana Manchester United. Ah, sasa wanashabikia ati wamesign CR7. CR7. Okay, <laughs> okay. That is still hot news. Um Kwake says love the I I see Chege you want to jump in on that? Uh, labda mara nyingi uh, kama jinsi ambavyo wakili amesema ya kwamba vita uh, vya nyumbani vinapotokea it is assumed that it is the woman but also another notion labda ama misconception ni kwamba kuna wale wataona ya kwamba maybe the woman is a catalyst uh, kuna ile stereotype ya kwamba women talk too much do you think that kwa uh, sababu wanawake kwa kawaida mwanamke ukimkosea atazungumza mwanamke does that contribute labda kwa vita vya nyumbani au inakuwaje uh, okay sije leo mbona watu wanasema ngati wanaume wanawake ni catalyst tuseme hivi chege ulinioa sijabadilisha bado naongea ngati kama kawaida lakini unaona wakati yeye amesumbuka akili hiyo wakati ndo hiyo ponge yangu ina trigger kwa hivyo I, i don't i think i don't agree with the fact with what people say that we may not triggers what i think is that at, uh, for, for you to get there lazima ukue umekushiwa such that umeignite hiyo ukanipuka and again it comes down to um I, I, uh, it, it comes down to the the uh, it's okay inaitwa nini Okay. I think it comes down to yeah, yani whatever we do tonight tunaifanya uh, to, uh, with con- con- consciousness. Yes, with consciousness. Like uh tukua tukifikiria ni mbona unafanya hiki kitu na it's always good to put yourself in someone's shoe without before even you start reacting kama ni bibi yako labda uh, jaribu kujieka kwa kwa viatu vyake try and understand why is she talking to me this way before you even react and for like still on my stance I, i don't think so because now you you see like such a there, there are weird cases unasikia like there's a case i had of or there was a woman who went to deliver and then akaacha bwana na mtoto the husband befell the kid and killed the kid so at that point what has the woman done so i still i, I still want to let, uh, okay i don't want to i don't want to shift the blame on anyone whoever is uh, is doing that acha ibaki ni yeye ni yeye amefanya and with a link He, that person knows why they have done that let to sijaribu kumtafutia ati ati ni mwanamke anapenda kuongea manini it's you did something wrong it's you who, who is consciously doing that that wrong thing uh, how's that mean how that mean that uh, responsibility of violence even if we saw in the movie mm-hmm. well, uh, you take responsibility as the person who did it mm-hmm. how's just that being at the point Yeah that's very true and i think uh, many attempts to attack ku put a blame on someone or something blame it on alcohol on the finances but uh, if we just sit back and analyze ourselves to to ji to ji take mkutano to ji take mkutano i just try to look deep within us what is our contribution towards um you know a particular situation 
and how we would have done something different, then maybe uh, we're open to listen to the other person because sometimes we are also too closed. Unasema mimi ino nimekosewa. Utake kujua ule mtu mwingine anahisi vipi about situation flani. Kwa hivyo, it's just being more open and uh, being open to listening also to the other person as well. Yeah. Very true. Um, so you in a conflict and uh, how did you resolve it? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I will not want to share my life experience here, but I've uh, been uh, in conflict with uh, uh, a very close family member. I would say my father, but uh, it came to a point whereby I just had to work on Then uh, I talked to my mother about the same, and uh, he was like, he's your father, there's nothing you can do about that. When I'm total, you accept that because uh, then you find forgiveness. So one thing I would like to urge people is let's find the art to forgive people. Again, there is uh, the means of re uh, conflict resolution, which is called the ADR. We can also try to find uh, someone to come in place, maybe to resolve the conflict that we are having. It's not just uh, uh, about when Okirukaruka and Kosevin, just the way you're just saying it. We tend to justify ourselves and say, I was right. No, maybe there's something you did which made uh, such, such uh, the conflict to, to continue. Again, uh, you should also try to be to avoid uh, these stereotypes. At the woman, no, I'm the man, no, I'm the one who's supposed to to do this or one, two, and three. Let us avoid that. Let's be neutral and solve conflict. Let's also uh, learn to speak out. Because when it builds up, nakuja in a big way, in a way that cannot be controlled. Yeah. So everyone is in conflict, but we just try to solve it uh, properly, uh, protecting the feelings and the emotions of the other person, just as you wish them to protect yours. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, well, I believe that uh, it is that time. Thank you so much, uh, Stella, for uh, thank you so you Thank you so much, STL, for you know bringing it out uh, such nicely and helping us package it. So you see, it's good to have the ladies also join us. Amani ali. Support for our dinner. Pia, least relax. No part of the past perspective in dinner. ataka we show you Misha Vizuri that it works. Ata kama maneno ni ngumu aji. Don't give up. Zungumza after help it works. Treza very quickly. What one is a fikia ji give you see? Um what one is a put uh fikia uh through our toll free number, which is zero eight hundred seven two zero five six five. Uh Petrukona mobile number zero seven one nine six three eight zero zero six. So, ukipiga pale, utapata mtu ataweza kukusaidia na utaweza kujua mahali ambapo unaweza pata usaidizi zaidi. Asante. Asante. Eh, hey, maybe before we finish STL, kuna watu wangependa kuparticipate kwa hii session, wangependa kutoa maoni, wengine wangependa wakuja wakae kwenye sesa mika. Ebu wambi wanaweza fanya ni? By the way, that is something very important kwa sababu tunataka you who is watching this right now, you be part and parcel of these conversations. Tunataka opinion yako, tunataka kusikia sauti yako. Kwa hivyo kama unataka kuwa part and parcel of this conversation, ingia tupale kwenye DM, tuambie what topics you would want us to talk about, what topics you would want to share with us. Alafu pia, tutakuwa tuna invite for such a session and you can come and be part of a person of this conversation. And a Facebook fan page to me, Gender Violence Recovery Center. And, uh, you know, kumbuka kulike na pia kushare na friends and family. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, follow us also on Instagram at GVRC, uh, Twitter at GVRC Kenya, Instagram GVRC Kenya. Exactly. Etuko pale.
Thank you so much. And uh, lastly, a big, uh, yeah, a big hands up here to all the team from Kuala Wakili. Chukua microphone, Naraka Sana Patia, your actor's credit. Takoni Makosa Sana, who are tagging Wajina, and assist it to our dear. Tunes a Patakazi and Wapi. You have to watch more of your work, such as Patawaki. Shukran, uh, Kwanza kwa, kwa team of Boydez Shakazi, uh, Tuna actors and Bob Guanakama Tenga, Munyagi Tenga, and Donze Yusufu. Uh, kulikuwa na Arafa Dosho ambaye ndio mama na kulikuwa na ule msichana uh, kulikuwa na maafisa kuna Omar Chala na mwana Rusi Hamisi Mwacharo uh, na hao wengine ma extras wengine uh, kazi zetu si tuko na Facebook page ambayo ni Kwale Arts Troupe uh, unaweza ingia huko utatuona kuna YouTube Kwale Arts uh, Twitter na Insta zote Kwale Arts uh, tuko pamoja Ah. Mwisho kabisa Asante. kwa wanaume uh -huh. mke hapigwi magongo uh -huh. upigwa kula na nguo eh upigwa hula na nguo upigwa kula na nguo upigwa kula na nguo mm. yani mke hapigwi uh, mke uonyeshwa mapenzi kwa chakula nguo na kadhalika ah na mabusu pia so ma 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 so Thank you. Let's kiss and kiss again next Wednesday. <laughs>